morning, Mincy ladies. So nice to see you. I hope you had a lovely, lovely weekend. Uh, today I was channeling my inner Robert Thick, Robin Thick. Is it Robin Thick? Yeah. You know the girls that had their guitars yeah. and they were just like <laughs> they had bright lips. Anyway, those of you who are old enough will totally understand what I'm talking about. Alice going, what? I don't get it. <laughs> It's a controversial video. It's controversial? Oh, very controversial. Oh, my goodness. Not yeah, sure. really Why? Why? Wait, no, we'll get it. I'll oh, tell you after. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Scandal, scandal. Uh, anyway, team, we are going to take you through. We had, um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Roussel, Rosella, uh, uh, sent us a bit of an email with quite a comprehensive checklist of things that she'd like us to go over and namely bunion fitting and hammer toes without kind of like um you know over talking about what the issues and things are yeah exactly um so what i'm going to do is one of the things she sort of said is that she really wished that she was able to and it may this may or may not apply to some of you ladies out there i know many of us have bunions um, so definitely that is a thing um, and then and then we all have sort of funny niggly toes and bits and pieces so um, we're going to just quickly sort of touch on the reason for she, she said, I'd love to wear a perla, but if only it didn't have uh, the seam over it um, for my toe. Um, she wears the Willet boot, she goes up a size in the Willet boot, but finds that absolutely fine um, because of the cut of that. There's sort of like less uh, stitching around the toe area and things like that. But again, some ladies, it will affect this inside um, zipper, will affect some ladies if they've got a, a highly protruding um, bone joint out the side. Others, it, you'll be totally fine in it. So I always say that the whole width thing is really subjective. Uh, and I would really encourage you to go to one of our beautiful retailers for some specialised fitting because I'll definitely be able to help you with some tricks and tips and guide you to what other ladies have purchased and had success with. Uh, for these wider fits. So definitely without a doubt, Willet Boot is going to and should be fine for you. Uh, something like that where you've got a lot more, um, you've got the toe cap in through here. So with each shoe that we construct, with this kind of shoe type construction, in through this toe here is something called a toe puff. Now toe puff is like a starch, um, a starch stiffening uh, collar uh, product. Um, it's activated, starts up, it's like flat, and it's activated by heat, moisture, and molding at the time of making the shoe. And this dictates the depth uh, and fit that it's mirroring from our last or our foot form that is molded around the whole product. So with a shoe, you are three-dimensional. We're not making a two-dimensional garment. Um, once you put the body in it, it comes to life. This is already to life because of the, um, the shoe mold already existing. So, um, so something like this is problematic with the seam across here. Uh, at the same time, it is part of the design. Sometimes if you don't have these uh, toe puffs on, it can look a little bit elongated and things like that. So it is part of the design of the shoe. So if you are looking for a little slip-on shoe that's not going to have so much of that reaction, I'm just hunting around here for you, um, you would be better with something like this. Um, the name escapes me just now. Sandy. Mm. Sandy, thanks, um, Annie. So you can see there, there are absolutely no joins in through the front of this shoe here. You can see also there's lots of depth in through the last here as well to accommodate a wider foot. One of the other things that Rosella was talking about um, was removable insoles. So this, uh, and we should actually note this, Kirsten, on our website that you could put and change out the insole on this particular last. Not all lasts um, in constructions will allow you to be able to do this, um, but in this particular one, we've got a technical insole in there, technical sports insole. You can take that out and swap it for a thinner one, should you need more width and depth, uh, or a slightly more orthotic one if you need a little bit more support. But again, these are quite technical, specific um, issues, situations. Uh, so I would recommend and push you back to your retailer to go into your retailer to try. Um, so if you do need a little bit of a list of styles that um, have got removable insoles, here's, I believe that the Kelsey might do this as well. Yes, it does. So it's a bit of a fight with it, but there we go. We've got that technical insole comes out as well on the Kelsey. Venus. Sample. Oh, sorry, Venus. Uh, sorry, I'm, because I'm thinking of the group collectively. This is your Kelsey here. Same thing. So when we're referring to the sole units, we tend to think in little collections of groups that have the same sole unit. So um, chances are that, you know, if it's got the sole unit, 
all of the styles will have this removable insole. So um, if you ever have any questions about that, you can um, sing out. In the sneaker space, it's easier to allow and accommodate for a little bit more flexibility with fit with insole movement and things. When you're looking at a more structured shoe, um, it is harder to have removable insoles. It is something that we're looking at developing more for maybe um, this next winter collection. Um, but for example, something like this, I really want to get the fit quite exact to the last and know that it is going to fit um, you know, a good 80% of our ladies. Um, so this one here is a fixed insole. I've got Samantha asking, do, the, do those removable insoles have raised arch? Um, do we have a raised arch? I'll show you. Um, not really. Some people are also quite sensitive to arch support. Um, so that's what they look like there. There's a slight little um, there's a slight little metatarsal bump in through here to help spread your toes. There's a slight little cupping of uh, the back of the heel area here to help stabilise your heel in the shoe. Um, and you'll see too that there's the flexibility grains in here. So, you know, also with insoles, you don't want a hard one that's going to uh, not allow the um, shoe to flex. But again, some women have issues where they don't want their feet to flex so much because they've got screws in their toes and they don't want to feel like they're having to flex their foot. So everyone has individual requirements in that area. And we're not a podiatry brand, but we are giving you some flexibility with lasts and designs like this to put your own bits and pieces in for comfort. Um, so uh, in terms of, of last steps, I know we've talked a lot about this last year. Uh, all the girls are wearing it, and one of the core reasons is that it is nice and deep and broad. Um, but if you are looking for something finer, this is a great little style for you here for winter. We've got a lovely supportive rubber outsole, but really few joints over this sort of area here, and you can zip in and out of this easily. Um, any kind of lace-up boot is going to give you a lot of flexibility as well, so you can let the seams out uh, and relax the fit a little bit more. I'm um, just trying to think what else we've got. Uh, maybe that'll be... I'm just looking again here, ladies, so just a little bit off the cuff, really. Um, so here, the main joint is going up through the back here, uh, and there's, so there's all the spring in the pattern, which means that the, uh, it's designed to, to fit seamlessly. Um, so you've got no seams in the front and through this boot. It's a nice, deep fitter as well, so you're going to get lots of nice width fit in that, um, as well as no seams for any joints and bits and pieces. So if you're looking for a fashion boot for a slightly broader fit, you will should have more flexibility because of these elements. Uh, and you will see if you wanted a flatter boot, that has exactly the same pattern and design. Oh, it's got the toe cap on it, so maybe not that one. Um, what else could we recommend? It's got the little, again, it depends on where your joints are coming to. Um, definitely this high boot here. Mm -hmm. The same here, you've got absolutely no joins in through this front area here. So again, there'll be nothing to irritate um, any sensitive uh, feet and bunions. Um, but yeah, I think those are the key things to kind of look out for. Uh, obviously with lace-up shoes, like I said before, you can, even though they tend to have those joins because of the side quarters, this is what I'm talking about here. Um, you know, like a little lace-up shoe, you can let it ride out and let it relax over any broader parts, but then you do get these side quarters uh, nipping into the pattern a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is actually also a really good last as well for a broader foot. So yeah, I think, have we got any questions around that while the ladies are looking? No, quiet on Facebook today. Mm -hmm. Very quiet on Facebook. Mm. I know we're a little bit later than usual, and it is a Monday, and we're doing all of our catch-up for mm. the weekend, I guess. Um, but I'm hoping that, that that is a little bit of a guide and help, mm -hmm. uh, helpful to you ladies. Uh, and like I said, we do have an exciting new launch uh, coming up for summer in this area that is going to be like super crazy exciting. It's to go with our wellness um, little packs for Mother's Day. We wanted to launch that for Mother's Day. And then we'll be bringing you in a wellness collection of footwear, which is a bit of a first. Mm -hmm. And we are very excited about it. Uh, and then that will flow in, on into winter. So timely discussion. Um, ladies, if there's something in terms of the broader fit that you are particularly looking for that you um, can't find out in the marketplace, um, yeah, let me know mm. back below. Uh, let's talk about Mother's Day because it is coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. We do have that fantastic competition um, that we're encouraging you to join. 
So uh, we've got a bit of a messy desk up here this morning, but um, you're looking at our beautiful wellness pack with some extra, extra goodies thrown in, plus the very generous gifting from Suramanti, which is all designed to uh, around relaxation, mm. ritual, and taking care of yourself. And all you've got to do, I think, um, is just comment about when was the last time you did something for yourself, mm -hmm. um, which for many of us has been a really difficult thing to comment on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, get, yourself, uh, get yourself in the drawer. I believe it's been drawn on... Oh, the entry's closed tomorrow. The entry's closed tomorrow, so that means we're drawing on Wednesday morning, maybe Tuesday night, you have to mm -hmm. check in with Suramanti. Uh, and the whole reason for that is so we can try and get your goodies delivered to the winner for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, anyway, I know Alice put up a whole little collection post about Mother's Day gifting for ideas. You ladies have been full on into the shoelaces. That's been a bit of a hit. So I think there's going to be some very cool mums with little attitude sneakers out there with new laces in them. Uh, right, I think that's about it. The girls give me the nod to move on. So I'm going to say a very good morning to you and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.